Good morning. The purpose of this morning's event was pretty clear for supporters. They really want to try to uh, really apply some public pressure to Mayor Brandon Johnson as well as CPD to at least start looking into creating this new police district. To say we are overdue for more police support is an understatement. The 8th District ranks number one for all crimes committed across the city of Chicago. The 8th District, the one we're standing in today, is the biggest and busiest district in the city. The group is being led by 13th Ward Alderman Marty Quinn, who says the ratio of police to people in Chicago Lawn is the worst in the city. This is despite being first in calls for service. Response times can be close to 45 minutes to an hour. City leaders were joined by state representatives as well as state senators. And there were also a number of community leaders here as well. They say the current district system needs to be updated and the 8th district has remained the same since the 60s despite population growth. We've got no response from CPD or the mayor's office just yet. Every speaker today made it a point to say this isn't about police not doing their job. It's just that they are overwhelmed with calls and they are stretched too thin. They are proposing splitting the 8th district at least into two districts. The southwest side isn't just understaffed, it's under policed. We don't have the resources to keep over a quarter of a million people safe on this side of town. That is unacceptable. It is a matter of equity. It is a matter of fairness and it's a matter of doing what's right. Now, as far as the boundaries for this new police district, that is still being worked out at this time, as well as the cost of a new police headquarters. Right now, Alderman Quinn is putting that estimate at about $30 million. We are live in Chicago Lawn. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Continue to